All right, let's see. So those look like obvious feet holes, but this is right side up. Feet holes also here on the bottom. I really like that recessed piece there. Like that is sweet. That makes that just so easy. And if you get all worked up about stuff like that and get in the right spot, well, congratulations. You can't miss. I like that a lot. Okay, the feet are on. Whoo, cool guy flip, let's go. Dirty boy. I used to have my own detailing business. Take great pride cleaning things up. What I'm doing, where this is going, yeah, it's kind of pointless. For the fun of it and the sake of this review, let's get it cleaned up. I thought that would have a screen cover on it. Doesn't seem to. Wi-Fi adapter. I like that it also has a LAN port. This is kind of an interesting machine. iPhone 16 Pro for comparison. It looks like a business or at this point old school or enterprise desktop computer tower. This would never stand out in your house if you're worried about it or bothered you or something. This may be the exact Bitcoin miner that you have been looking for. It's the Canon Avalon Q. Latest generation Bitcoin mining hardware tech. It runs over Wi-Fi. That's what that little blue guy is. It has a built-in power supply and you can plug it into probably any outlet in your house. It works on 110 to 240 voltage. It only uses 1,674 watts of electricity, which is a good bit of juice, but nothing crazy. Nothing most circuits can't handle. And what do you think the Q stands for? It stands for quiet. Its noise level is rated at 65 dB or decibels, but the bottom line is it's pretty quiet, especially when you consider that this has last generation Bitcoin mining hardware hash rate with current generation Bitcoin mining efficiency. If you're looking for the biggest and best at home Bitcoin miner, this could be what you're looking for. It's way bigger and way more hash for the money compared to many miners like the Bitax Gamma, Nerd QX++, and even Canon's own 3S Nano. But it's not as powerful as current full-size Bitcoin miners like the Ant Miner S21 or S23 or the BitDeer Seal Miner A2 or whatever other full-size Bitcoin ASIC mining rig. But here's the deal. Most of those bigger miners are also using twice as much power. So this is coming in at half the price, half the performance. Essentially on paper, this is the best bang for buck, smaller scale at home type designed Bitcoin miner. But is it actually worth buying? This is the follow-up release to the Canon Mini 3, which was the follow-up release to the Nano 3 and the 3S. Canon has expanded into Bitcoin home mining because the other major manufacturers are not. Bitax showed that there was a huge interest in this and Canon, a publicly traded company, is here to capitalize. And with warranty repair centers in the US, I'm intrigued and not because I think this thing will need to go in for warranty, but in worst case scenario, you like to have those options available. You can burn up hundreds and hundreds of dollars shipping things back and forth from the US and European countries to Asian countries where pretty much all this hardware comes from. Yo, I'm Bosk. You're on the Bosk Coin YouTube channel. And uh, I've been building my own full-size Bitcoin mining farm. I'm actually pretty excited uh, to get this into review. We've been making content here on the tube for many years. We go back to the beginning, still just chasing the dream, having fun. First two videos, a GPU mining rig review and an ASIC mining rig review. Here we are doing the same stuff years later. So if you know me, which if you don't, I hope you subscribe. So get to know me, <laughs> check out the other content. And I wanna to get to know you, let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you guys wanna see next. But uh, I've been building my own full-size Bitcoin mining farm. So you may say, why are you messing around with mini Bitcoin mining rigs or smaller ones for that? Because you'd think I would just be buying big ones. Well, it's simple really. This actually complements my farm really well. And this miner is in a very, very unique position uh, where it would be fine to pool mine right? Just mine Bitcoin in a collective with this mining rig and earn some passive income in Bitcoin, stack some Satoshis day over day, or take a powerful chance and shot at solo mining Bitcoin, which I'll go over that more later. But if you want to run the odds to hit a Bitcoin block in real time right now, check out sololuck.com. Super cool tool, not paid to promote it. Proud to talk about it because we made it. And don't forget that someone hit a block solo mining Bitcoin with an S19, which is a similar hash rate to this 
Avalon Q. I was gonna buy one of these anyway, but huge shout out to Canon for giving us the opportunity to review this. If you do wanna buy one of these, I'll put a couple links down in the video description below, directly from Canon and some of my favorite resellers to buy this hardware. But enough talk, shut the up and set it up. Are you looking for Premier Hosting? For your ASIC miners, then you may be looking for Terra Hosting, which is not only a sponsor of the Vox Coin YouTube channel, but I've parked several ASIC miners at their mining farm for months. The uptime has been great. The experience has been great. And if you want to start mining with only a minimum order quantity of five miners and no hidden fees, check them out with the link out in the video description below. Now, let me look at the 100 page user manual. It really is almost 100 pages, 80, but it is multi language. C19 power cable. Scan this QR code to instantly get to the app. We have one of these if you get one of these, but here it is also, you can scan the video, This you can scan this screen and achieve that same function. Power cable, chick. Power supply. This thing's nice and quiet, listen. Obviously, it, it makes some noise. It's almost like your Xbox running on full blast or a nice little fan on a low speed in the corner of the room or maybe your sound machine when you don't blast it up super loud to drown out your tinnitus. I'm not hating, I got it too. Whip out your phone, download the app from the App Store. It's available on Android, of course, and Apple. Connect to the device. Click, done, easy, search device, found instantly, connect, clicked your local Wi-Fi, picked it up, easy, and uh, at that point put in your Wi-Fi password and bam, it's there in your uh, dashboard, in your interface here of the Avalon app. I really cannot understate how quick and easy this is. It's well done, absolutely a pleasurable experience. For me though, the pool cards doesn't work. Uh, this would really benefit from pool cards or I just, I put my mining pool information one time and I would honestly like a drop down of the popular options. They know what they are. Uh, that's something that, uh, it's probably like the only good thing that Gold Shell does these days. They have the, you know, just click this and you have mining pool information. Then you're just putting your personal mining account info, which is either gonna be your Bitcoin wallet address, if it's anonymous mining or your username. Uh, so this thing's on super, which is just, you know, full mode, which is just full speed. Uh, at the lower power level, it hashes at a slower speed, but it consumes less power. Uh, but for me, I'm here to let it eat. It's super time, baby. And I like to see that it's performing a, a reportedly a little bit above what it's supposed to do. According to the solo mining pool, and this is just a public interface, uh, it is crushing it 99 terahash a second. Uh, if you want to solo mine to your own node, uh, check out our full video guide on where I buy a little micro PC. I slap a bigger SSD in it and I stick a USB in it and I have my own Bitcoin node and I'm running my own mining pool instance. You can also buy these pre-made, but you pay a bit of a premium for that. Uh, don't lose the tinkerer spirit. Why not DIY it if you can save a couple bucks and it's, you know, it's a cool experience. It's a, it's a good time. So anyway, you put your mining pool information, save, done, good to go off to the races. Uh, again, you can pool mine with this. And depending on your electricity rate, you can make several dollars a day in Bitcoin over your electricity cost mining with this. But where it becomes a lot more interesting and a lot more exciting to me is going to be solo mining. How do I check out those stats though? The, the luck, the odds, the chance. When am I gonna hit a block? Well, I go to sololuck.com and I put in 90 terahash a second. A one in 70,000 chance per day or a one in 193. So based on this calculation, and it's not financial advice, if you, me, and 191 other people ran these, statistically, one of us would hit a Bitcoin block over the year, which means that we would buy a device that costs around $1,500 and we would earn over $300,000 or more importantly, more beautifully, over three Bitcoin, 3.125 BTC plus whatever transaction fees were in that block. Can I get a yeah? Oh, yeah. Let's go. 
My initial impression of the Avalon Q is I'm really impressed. I'm gonna run it for the next week uh, and just make sure that it stays up and running good to go. I'm also going to put it in our uh, mini pod. So uh, basically a Bitcoin mining container and run this in very hot weather and see how it performs there. Because the cool thing about this device, it has latest generation efficiency. It can run on 240 voltage, typical plug, has an ethernet port. You can definitely scale with this or add it to a mining form or it doesn't stand out in the way like I'm not gonna put a bit ax gamma in the mini pod. I might get sucked into the fan. The dang thing is so small. But this is essentially a brand new S19 with twice the efficiency. It's like buying a truck from 10 years ago, but it's got turbocharged Tundra MPG. I don't know if that was the best example, but it's the example that came to mind. And why am I even talking about that? I drive a Ram. You only see the top of my miners right here. You only see the most powerful ones. So let's expand this out to 50. We'll go all the way down here to the bottom. Uh, I routed over my Canon Mini 3. I have a Canon Q deployed here now. And I was solo mining with uh, my original Mini 3. And then I plugged in a second Mini 3 and I put it here on the pool. Uh, but basically I was right here on the cusp of eight and I was like, you know what? Let me redirect all hash that I possibly can. I also have a couple completely dud miners. This one basically has a down board. Um, a lot of these old S19s or all of my old S19s uh, I have underclocked. Uh, so they're essentially running uh, similar specs. So it's actually crazy to see just how far up my list of, uh, you know, one hour or one day hash rate here, average hash rate that the Canon Avalon Q gets to. Yeah, it's very cool. It's very nice. Uh, so it really just comes down to budget, right? If this fits your budget and your goals, this is great. Uh, if you want the biggest miner for Bitcoin mining, to put in your living room that's not going to disrupt you here it is this is a product to me that makes a lot of sense and they didn't price themselves out of the market for example like if gold shell made this they would have charged two to three times the price for some reason and i'm not trying to throw a bunch of shade uh but you know let's let's let's, let's discuss things as, as they are i understand that there are many minor manufacturers that want to sell shovels in a gold rush. So these shovels need to be a decent deal so that not only the minor manufacturers who are obviously just gonna get rich in this equation, but us actually in the mine shaft, in the mines, have a chance at a lucrative endeavor here. So yeah, this thing's, this thing's sweet. I'm, I'm impressed, I like it. Uh, if it, hit, if it fits your budget and your goals, uh, and you know, it kind of hits right there in that niche, this is it. Uh, does it stand up against the next generation of Bitcoin miners? I mean, obviously like the S23 and stuff are starting to get very efficient, but that efficiency is essentially changing in about a year. Uh, and it'll really take a couple years to get adopted there. Uh, I, I like it, I, I really do. I wouldn't be surprised if they released another model like this in about a year and maybe increase the efficiency by like three to four uh, watts per terahash. Uh, but at that point, you know, you get like a little analysis paralysis, how long are you gonna wait around? When's the right one for you? Today is better than tomorrow, but yesterday is better than today. Hey, do your own research, make your own decisions. I'm not here to push stuff on you, just to have some fun review, um, but yeah. And again, this is on the super mode. This can be quieter than it is. It's Bitcoin season, baby. I, I don't think it makes sense to have stuff uh, on, uh, on lower modes there. And I'm interested in a little bit more efficiency and lower power mode. What's really impressive about this is the form factor. We have a, a computer desktop uh, that does 90 terahash a second. And if you've been around Bitcoin for years, you can really kind of zoom out and start to understand how crazy that is, right? We used to buy Antminer S9s for a similar price. They did 13.5 terahash at a similar power consumption. I mean, it's a little less, but you know, relative there, right? Either way, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's interesting to see the game's changing. Got to move and evolve with it. I'm Vosker on the Bosscoin YouTube channel. This is Tails, our, our super cutie pup, our CBO, our chief Bitcoin officer here at Bosscoin. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Hope you subscribe. And uh, we got some other really exciting videos in the pipeline too. Teaser. Ah.